Welcome to It's Time for Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, this is my Get Ready With Me, or actually Us, video. So this is the before and we're back. So I just used the Foreo and the Foreo Day Cleanser to clean my face, which I will show in an updated video. I have a video about that. Uh, on the channel uh, with another version of both of these products but I will do an updated one I promise at some point and I just used soap and water which I did in the shower yep and um, I've put some tissue oil um, which I got from South Africa originally let me show that tissue oil though tissue oil can you see it okay, I see it okay, I see it. it's just a mixture of like essential oils has anybody seen this before? In the UK or somewhere nearby. <laughs> it's mainly supposed to be used for stretch marks and stuff, but um, the olive oil that I usually use on my face is out and I've not had time to go and replace it. So, tissue oil it is, I decant it into this little thing so that I can use it um, for my hair, my body, without contaminating the original. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you do with your face afterwards? That. Yeah. what you put on and that's the only kind of moisturizing because it does moisturize doesn't it yeah yeah, yeah. yes it's really good. so i use coconut oil which i put in this little thing i use coconut oil for everything and um, when i do this at night i don't put anything actually i don't put anything on my face my face is so oily i don't want to overdo it and even with the coconut oil i just put a little bit because i yeah just a little bit I don't know so what that. would happen if you were to just go without anything on your face I've tried that. It's actually not that bad. It's more, it's more the feeling. Mm. It's the feeling that's like as if, you know, all the moisture has been stripped out of your face, which essentially has happened, especially when you use well, a very good kind of machine device such as the Foreo. And um, you really feel like all the oils have been stripped, and your skin just feels like it needs something on it. Mm. But that's probably the only reason why I put on coconut oil because I think my skin has a way of bring it all by itself really so it's like a, it's like a protective layer yeah anyway. yeah so I I'm just uh, sipping my tea over here tea. because um, I basically need to put on um, oil immediately after getting out the shower because my skin is, is mainly dry um, otherwise I just get like a mask feeling uh, without anything doesn't her face look beat though soap and water and that is it what? My face? Yes! Oh, thank you. <laughs> After you've put on cream, like, what do you feel is the most annoying thing that you need to take care of on your face? Huh? Nothing. <laughs> really? I think that's because your brows are just, they're amazing. That's, they just, they always yeah. stay in place. So I don't feel in my brows because there's just a lot of natural brow, um, but it's, my brows just, they go all over the place because of the shower. <laughs> and you know I'm putting stuff on my face so those are usually the first things that I, I get mm -hmm. just brush them a little bit oh you still have a brush in me just gonna did you give this to me oh yeah hey Thank you what, what, what is that? <laughs> I'm gonna go and put on some eyeliner and um, just on the bottom lashes this is from MAC and it's called feline yeah feline the B64 it's all wiped out so there's no point even kind of showing it to you but you know just use any eyeliner whatever yeah so that's what i'm gonna do we've got our mirrors here so that we can actually see what it is that we're doing i kind of pull my lash well yeah this bit down with the one finger usually and then i just go in. what you can do one-handed lining yeah either that either that or like that yeah and you use a pencil liner yes so I have a friend who has amazing like liners. Um, well, the way she does her eyes is just is amazing, and she uses a liquid liner. So mm -hmm. a year ago, I decided to try um, liquid lining because I have hooded eyes. So sometimes with a coal liner, it's just a bit too thick, and it just looks like mm -hmm. I've got like panda eyes. Um, still don't know exactly how to line my eyes, uh, but uh, I like to try. Can you speak and do this at the same time? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a delayed speech though. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. god. <laughs> and your mouth has to be open mm -hmm. basically. No, I'm gonna try and close it. That's a myth. I'm still doing it. Yeah. 
so what do you usually have playing or do you listen to music while you're getting ready? Yeah, anything from gospel to like Afro beats to like classical to like just the radio. Yeah. To like YouTubers. You woke me up the other day and what were you playing? Eh? Oh, rap no. Yeah, it was like, okay, because I, I am horrible when I first wake up. Um, and I, I just. I, <laughs> so it was just so mad. It just so you did like, hear it! It sounded like noise! <laughs> so, what are your plans for the day? Hmm. Work, 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 work. You can't exactly dance as you do this. No. You've moved on to the other right. You're amazing. I don't want to do too much. You know, it's kind of the one where you just have to come close to see it. It kind of, for me, makes me feel like I look more kind of awake. Yeah. And so it's it's not to, to make a statement or anything, it's just a little bit. Anyway, for me, I'm going to put on some eyeshadow. Um, yeah. I'm still on the one eye. It's okay. And we'll the thing up. is, like, people don't... I usually wear eyeliner. Well, like, half of the time I wear eyeliner. I don't feel like people actually notice it because it's so close to my 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 lash line. Oh, you're putting it up there. Yeah, yeah. So I usually just put it up top unless I'm going for like a funky look. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I notice it. Really? Yeah. I'm going with my slick, but it's broken. Um, yeah. You just break it? No, no, no. You just broke it on camera. No, I didn't. Anyway, bloopers. Anyway. Bloopers. But anyway, slick is the slick. I divine. Mineral based eyeshadow palette. So it's called the original 594. All shimmery basically. And they're really pigmented. Yes, they are. So I I, I think it makes it better so, so that you know whatever skin shade you are, mm -hmm. you can you can you can pull it off. Mm -hmm. so you can make it darker by applying more, you can mm -hmm. make it less dark, yeah. So I don't even really know what I'm going to do now. Anytime I do my makeup, I don't really know what's gonna come out of it. But it's always bomb. It's always amazing. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm not really gonna talk about brushes because, to be honest, I have no idea what kind of brushes they are. Um, but yeah, I, I don't use brushes because I used to I not use brushes. I, I don't know. You can use your fingers. It's not really that important. Okay, cream tea. I'm gonna use that color on my lid, and it's kind of like yellow. It's like a goldyish color. Mm. Love it. Oh my goodness. Shimmer makes everything better. Also, because you have just like these amazing chocolate brown eyes. She's full of compliments. <laughs> I, I notice these things because, um, you know, when it comes to my eyes, uh, people have been like, so are your eyes like black? And I'm like, what? No, they're just really, really, they're really dark. dark. Yeah, they're quite dark. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Dark is cool. I don't know why, but when I was a kid, it used to make me really angry. Yeah, when you're a kid, a lot of things make you angry. So I'm just putting on some lip balm. I don't actually know what else to do. So sometimes it depends what I'm going to do with my my um my hair. Mm -hmm. So when in doubt, um, just go for like a, a new looking shadow. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll do that. And I have a trick. Um, <clears throat> Trick slash I don't really know anything about makeup slash you know hashtag work life so you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. So I I have um like um a a nude palette, but I found that that you know they're all really light colors and they're all really nice shimmery colors. So I wore them to a wedding. Um, but in terms of like a a no makeup makeup look. That just makes you look away. Wait, what's the brand? Is it something people um, can get? Or is it from South Africa? <laughs> I think you can just get it. Actually, no. At your local Asda. Honestly, you oh. guys. I just, I, I, I don't know anything about makeup, and I had a wedding coming up, so I was like, ugh, let me just do something, get mm. something. Um, that is small because I was in Asda. So. Where is it? Wait, anyway, while she's looking for whatever she's looking for, I'll just let you know what I'm doing. So I put that, what was it called? Cream tea in the middle, and then I'm gonna do stuff around it. So I think in the cream, yeah, in the outer 
like crease area i'm gonna go darker which is what people do all the time anyway and i'm going to go for what is this london eye i think is it london eye or penny farthing penny farthing penny farthing which one is what penny farthing i think so. penny farthing yeah is so it's one? like a coppery color anyway that makes sense yeah yeah, it's a, yeah a penny farthing is a coin yeah yeah that one anyway yeah i'm gonna go for that with this brush it's kind of very very it looks like a blending brush and it's got like a like a slant to it and yeah right so i'm gonna, make, I'm gonna use so um so i found what i was looking for and to achieve my like nude awake look um i'm basically using a eyebrow kit to as eyeshadow so i'm just using um the lightest color of the eyebrow kit and i'm just smudging that across my eyelid It's the same, um, because it was the same as to shop. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow. I'm telling you. It's like, I buy makeup like once every three years. I don't, I never really know what to get or what I'm going to do with it because I mm. don't wear makeup all the time. So this was that once in a blue moon. So it's the same collection. And again, very luckily you can get it at your Asda. I'm going to do something at the, in the inner corners as well. Like another pop of color, maybe like a completely different color. Do I have green in here? Yes, I do. I might put some green. What is, what is the green one? So I'm going for Hyde Park, that one over here, and I'm going to put that in the middle. This is another brush. It's a blending blending brush, but it's not slanted. I'm going to put that in the middle here. Ah, not in the middle. In the inner corner. So because I have really hooded eyes, um, I. I don't really do very much when it comes to my eyes because um, the minute I open my eyes it's kind of all gone <laughs> but what I do do is um, put a little bit of eyeshadow on my crease because I feel like it makes me look I don't know more mysterious I don't know I just I do stuff <laughs> and sometimes people say it looks nice so it's nice all the time to be honest because it's subtle I'm just using this water wipe, which you can get in boots. Uh, it just has 99% water. And oh, citrus grandest seed extract. So yeah, it's like a citrus seed thing. Probably to preserve it because it's just like water and to prevent it from going. But it's, it's really good because then it doesn't like affect your skin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so again, continuing with the finger method, um, I'm taking some of the gold from my um, proper eye palette. Like that. I just realized I forgot something. Primer. Do prime your eyes. <laughs> because like this it. is probably going to be washed out. Also because I have kind of oily skin, so I'm expecting it to be washed out in about four hours or so. I haven't even looked at what you're doing. Ooh, look at it. Those are nice colors, you know. Thank you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Asda, I approve. <laughs> I really don't like how much product is on my eyes. I feel like I look kind of boring. No, it's not boring. This is the look that I was trying to get, and now I look like I'm going clubbing or something. <laughs> you know, like why? I want it subtle, it's too much. So I'm gonna try this, which I've never done before. But I'm gonna call it my blotting technique. Exactly. Close your eyes and you just go. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if this works. Oh, actually. What? But there's nothing here. Why don't just blend it? No, it's like it's just really too much. I'm just gonna okay, take it. What off. about taking a clean brush and then just like? Yeah, uh, I kind of use all my brushes here. Oh. I could go and get a clean brush, but anyway, <laughs> I'm lazy. Actually, it's working. It is. Yeah, your blotting is working. Blotting technique. Yes. What you know about that? The issue sometimes with liquid eyeliner, especially oh, so the one that I got is just from from Boots. It's just like your standard Boots eyeliner, nothing fancy. Um, and the thing is, when I put on eyeshadow, sometimes the the eyeliner fades away, which is great actually because my lines are so imprecise. Um, but if I, I want it to stand out a little bit more, at this point, I will uh, go over at least the inside a little bit more. You're doing Veda, right? Yep. 
And yeah. I'm this year yeah. for show. Beta instead of what was it that you did? <laughs> I think Wait. two years ago or something. I did Viva, which was vlog every day. No, vlog every, every week in April. And even that, yeah, I wasn't really able to do that. So you'll be seeing a lot of me and her and some other very interesting people. More so stay tuned. More friends. So do you know what topics you're gonna to be covering, or is it like yes. secrets? Well, both. But I can give a snippet. Oh. Um, it's gonna be basically this, this channel is called It's Time for Life. So it's gonna be everything that life encompasses, basically. Food. It's gonna be reviews. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be hair, and makeup. Just lifestyle things, just chatty videos. Because um, we, we do a lot of that, far too much of that actually. I'm just looking for lipstick. Um, so I don't know a lot about um, the eyes because the lips is where I am at personally. Because mm -hmm. uh, I got a lot of lips. <laughs> so. Yes. There was a time where I was really into um, lip liners. Um, but you know, not going out or anything. So, uh, to kind of go with the funkiness of, of what I'm wearing, um, I am going to just go for this MAC um, dark um, lipstick that I got for my birthday last year. Yes, thank you, thank you. Thank you guys so much. Yes. Um, and I'm going to mix that actually with this. Shut up. H&M um, matte lip crayon thing. It was just, it was such an impulse buy and I thought it would be horrible. But actually, it's amazing. Mm. Like, it, yeah. And the MAC, what, what's the name of it? Oh, so the MAC is, um, it's a matte instigator. I'm going to go with the MAC Prep and Prime um, to prime the lips. I've actually put some coconut oil because if I did it, I, this would be all white. That's how dry my lips are. They get so stripped um, after a shower and stuff. So I'm going to put this on. It just kind of looks like that. What is that though? Like is it? That is a very excellent question. <laughs> um, it is something that them lovely Mac ladies managed to get me to buy. <laughs> it does the damn thing. It um, always happens that way. It does. I also have the Mac. Now what is this thing called? Chestnut. They should start engraving this stuff instead of. I think they do engrave it, which is why I can still read it. Anyway, so chestnut, so it's super brown like that. And that's a lip liner, so I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. And sometimes I kind of wait for the lip primer to become kind of tacky, kind of. Yeah. So I can't wait around. So as I'm waiting around, I'm gonna look at what she's doing. Yeah, so what I just went ahead and did was to put on the. Um, the H&M lip crayon um, toward the inside of my lips uh, to do what I think of as the Korean look um, and it's just basically to create like a, a gradient um, and then it just makes it more interesting when you're blending the colors so that they're not like directly on top of each other so mm -hmm. I always do this in my lips when I'm putting a lip liner so that I'm getting in everywhere. I don't want to do this and then everything is obviously together and then maybe when you smile and everything looks weird. So is this one that you're gonna do like any cooking videos do you think? Uh-huh. Definitely because yeah. I love food. And, and you love your food too. I'm gonna add uh, a nude layer to just dull the colours a little bit. This is it's a sleek um Sleek as well. Mm. Sleek lipstick that I got ages ago. It's their naked true color lipstick sheen. Um, and although the nude doesn't quite work on me, um, just when I wear it by itself, it's great for like as a base color for other things and blending stuff together. So. Nice. I'll just explain what I did with the lip liner. So you know the cupid's bowl kind of there from there i kind of go diagonal and fill that part of my lip in as well so i don't just go on the line because i'm not trying to get that 90s look you know when everybody was lining their lips and just uh, 
the little you know that little line just around their lips yeah I'm not trying to go for that I want to blend two colors together so I'm kind of doing the reverse of what she did sort of kind of and I'm kind of filling in this bit as well all this bit and here too so I tried to uh, emulate that on the bottom as well so that I just have to fill in a little bit of the middle um, of my lip and I'm gonna use this thing that I got at Superdrug and I have no idea what it's called but it's very creamy and yeah it's it's amazing it's nice so yeah, it does have another color on it for some reason <laughs> Anyway, I sometimes just add that on, you know, just for character. Yeah, it makes yeah, it interesting. Exactly. The color you can never replicate. <laughs> it's got a bit of shimmer to it actually as well. So I'm just trying to go for a natural look. Sometimes I just put this on instead of just your regular lip balm or your very bold lipstick. So I'm just gonna put that in the middle. I always do this because I've been I wear bold lipstick sometimes, just so that it doesn't get on your teeth. Even though this one you wouldn't really see it, but I still always do it. So I go. That's my finished look. I'm not going for mascara or, any, or anything. I just want to keep it simple. What about you? So I've just gone ahead and blotted the, the my lips. A more classy way to do it. Um, yep. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> in terms of checking if there's any lipstick on my teeth, mm -hmm. I I would just ask her. <laughs> so yes, and I'll be honest. Let's see before she even asks. As I do my hair, um, I might, you know, change the way I do my my, my makeup a little bit. I might change the whole look. Um, mm -hmm. I kind of wish that my eyes were a bit smokier. Mm -hmm. I really love what you've done. Thanks. And I like what you've done. I wouldn't change it. It's cool. Yeah. It's very nice. It doesn't always have to be smoky, you guys. It doesn't always have to be smoky. It doesn't always have to be winged. Yeah. I actually was going to try winged. But I don't know how to do winged with my eye shape. Yeah, that's a thing we've been trying to figure out. But we will. Maybe try and film that for you or something. Yeah. We're going to go on to the hair. Her. Yes. Oh, 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 tea time. Tea time. I dyed my hair red. Be and if you want to know which celebrity <laughs> allegedly stole a look from my girl, check out our second video, which will be popping out sometime this month. Month of Veda. I will be vlogging and posting every single day. Stay tuned.